See? Proof that I checked myself off there. Well, I think it's funny, Rick, that you should be doing this interview because just the other day I was thinking about how I got started, or interested at least, in teaching. Uh, when I was a junior in high school, I thought I wanted to be an engineer. But as a senior in high school, I changed my mind, primarily, I think, as I look back, because I had an English teacher that took a special interest in me. And also I found I had a certain uh, talent or enjoyable uh, uh, experience studying English. In particular, I can remember studying the play of Macbeth, the Shakespearean play of Macbeth, and enjoying doing those parts. So um, when it came time to go to college and to put down on a piece of paper what do you think your major might be, I put down English as a major and teaching or education as a minor. And uh, I, I don't think I had realized that until later, that way back at the beginning, I put that down as my area of interest. Here's the thing I often say, and, I, and this may come up later. I know one of your questions has something to do with words of wisdom. I, I count myself as, as very fortunate to have lucked into, I, uh, you know, yes, I was inspired by my high school English teacher. I made a decision to study a subject I liked in high school and I continued to like in college and I made this decision to be a teacher for sure after I had my exposure in front of the classroom. I always said to myself, well, I'll try it. If I don't like it, I'll do something else. And, and it was a good choice, so that all worked out. But along the way, I would be inspired by my work and the students I was working with. So in both instances, both teaching in the public school and teaching at, at Friends in an independent school, in a Quaker independent school, I have had those moments where I you know, stopped what I was doing and said to myself, I can't believe I get paid to do this. The most challenging part has been how to keep things fresh and new for the students. It's pretty easy to uh, assign, grade, test, grade, you know, uh, give them work to do. It's another thing to come up with fresh and different ways to look at things that actually inspire the students in some way to get interested and to, I think the other challenge has been to uh, come up with uh, interactive lessons or sessions with students where they are involved in some way or in another in the learning and it's not just sitting passively and listening. Now, I've taught the same thing for a long time in some instances and approached it sometimes from pretty much the same uh, approach. Uh, you know, the students are new, the lesson's the same, you know something works pretty well, you keep it that way, maybe you tweak it a little, but you can never predict how it's going to work. Working on a, on a private estate for the upkeep of the estate. And the, the man that we worked with there had a motto, and that was anything worth doing is worth doing right. Mm. Final thoughts Boy. and words of wisdom. Well, I gave, I think, it's, I think it is very, my experience makes it 
<clears throat> feel to me that it is very important that people choose things to do in life that are rewarding and fulfilling for them, if at all possible. 